Oh, Tim okay. Jones from Harvard University Press. John Hudson from Terra Type Works. Yeah. Yeah. Ross, Terra Type Works, and the University of Reading, and Independent. I'm Ratna Ramnathan in Nine Design, Potatoes and Pop Design. And I'm Tim Slavin, and I work in the editing. Hello, I'm Tim Slavin, and I work in the editing. Hello, I'm Tim Slavin, and I work in the editing. Hello, I'm Tim solution 
and there wasn't this concept that actually what Unicode can do is not just facilitate what we're doing, but actually transmitting information from one person to another, you know, so that you can actually send a text message and only it's going to come out exactly the same, or you're sending something, an email on a Mac that will actually come out as an email, or even a, a document that's not a PDF actually transmit this um, and it will come out the other end as you wrote it. You know, it's just, it seems incredible in 2014 you can't do this in a lot of scripts. Well, I think Shelley, Sheldon Pollock referred to that, didn't he, which is that if you don't have scripts, uh, you don't have support for languages, uh, if you don't have languages, you don't have support for knowledge, uh, for text, for things that have like lived, uh, for ways in which we used to access the past or live in the past, for ideologies that we had. So if we're looking for something that's a really unified world, um, you know, we can continue as we are. But we're actually looking for true diversity of vision, and we're saying that we're people with difference, coming from different cultures, and we value all these cultures. Um, then I think it's like pretty important um, to kind of acknowledge that and acknowledge that not just in a kind of romantic or idealistic or philosophical way but in a practical pragmatic way that when you know Tim or teachers or I are typesetting these texts they don't start crashing like crazy on like in a hundred page book because the software doesn't actually provide a proper support so yeah like basic yeah. I would add that one of the, whenever I've gotten overwhelmed by the challenges of this series, that I bring it back to this really simple, simplistic form of what I think is one of the most the beauties of the series is at its core it's challenging the Western idea of classics. These texts are older than a lot of the texts we teach in all of our great universities as the classics department being Latin and Greek. And to introduce that to the West, uh, for me it was an experience, and I hope that we continue doing this in a way that not only does it for Indic classics, but acknowledges that classical isn't Latin and Greek, and I think that the technology will only help us do that more, and the scripts and the design we've created will hopefully assist with this. Uh, Ratna was talking in her presentation about her own education in India in terms of English literature. Um, so there's both that also applies in uh, the teaching of design. Uh, so a lot of uh, design schools in India focus very much on a Western style of design and on English design for English typography. Um, so both in terms of the content and the design, uh, there's an importance in preserving uh, the vernacular scripts and, and getting them used more uh, and getting people using them intelligently. Uh, and begin to look at them as a medium for design. <laughs> Typography. Um, you know, I, I don't think of what I do in terms of Latin and non-Latin design. Uh, on a specific project, I'll be thinking in terms of Latin and Devanagari, or Latin and Cyrillic, or Cyrillic and Devanagari, or whatever the mix happens to be on that particular project. But it's all typography and type design. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the only reason that a reading that we have kept the name non Latin for the collection is because we started calling it Global World Scripts and we realised that there was so much that we haven't. Uh, included it. And it is, uh, it is not a satisfactory term. And when I started at Minor Time, we had an even worse term called exotic scripts. And we were then in the department in the 80s, all women. And you can imagine the comments we got about uh, whether we had belly dance and things like that. So at least, you know, there is something. And one of the things is that we don't want them to be the same as Latin in any form. Um, and I don't actually think, I've never designed a Latin typeface, so I don't, I, don't, I don't find equivalents. But that um, we would like the quality and the respect for them and the quantity you like to be on a par with Latin. But that may be the one merit of the 
that, that it acknowledges that the things that we have, the technology, has all this inertia of Latin time. And it does not provide the same means for non-Latin time. So it is only good for that to remind us that they are not on par in terms of what we can do, and that still needs to change.